the glasses again. Um, I got I got some pointers from a guy after my set two weeks ago, and he was like, you gotta make sure you make eye contact with the crowd. It's very important. And he really wasn't that funny, so fuck him. Um, here we go. This isn't really part of my set, but I was gonna go take a pee back there. I don't know if they like raised the urinal in the men's room up about a foot. I felt like I was gonna drop down on it, so I didn't. So I'm gonna make this uh, fast, I guess. Anybody here like sex? <laughs> Can I get a woo woo from a woman in the back who's been woo wooing all night long? Thank you. Thank you very much. I learned everything I need to know about sex from Sean Connery and old Bond films. Everything. Who, by the way, yeah, tap side tangent for a second. Amazing actor because every single movie he's in, he's himself. He was an Arab. Uh, King, and he still had his Scottish accent. He was a Russian sub commander, he still had his Scottish accent. Everything he does, he's got his Scottish accent, and it's believable. What a man, I love him. Anywho, sex. Learned it all from the man, Mr. Sean Connery. Now, uh, getting in the mood, going up to a girl. And, uh, yeah, we'll ferociously kiss for a while. And then something get close off somewhere, back there maybe. And we fall to bed and we roll around a little. But I mean, that's about as far as the sex scenes progress in wrong films. Then everything goes black. So I punch her in the face. <laughs> and she's out for a little bit. But it's okay, when she comes to, I've got a cigarette waiting for her. I'm sitting in bed and we smell a lot. It's really nice. <laughs> so. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. So that's what you did to me. <laughs> yes. What else? What else? Oh yeah. All right. That's not really anything to do with sex. I used to work at Bread and Company down on uh, West End. Really? Yeah. The turnover rate there is like two weeks. Absolutely shitty place to work. I was coming home one night, really long day, tired, gotta go home, still got schoolwork to do. And I'm walking by the, the castle fraternity building that's right behind the borders. Walking by, got a bag of food, and I hear a cry from the porch. Nice bag, faggot. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that was really rude. It kind of hurt me a little. This was not a nice bag. It was plastic and the logo for Brent. And the other thing, I'm not gay, so I was a little offended. A little bit. And I, I don't know what the ingredients for douchebaggery are, but apparently they include a popped polo shirt, some plaid, maybe khaki shorts, and a backwards ball cap. But, oh, and you know, belonging to any Vanderbilt fraternity helps too. That's what this guy was. But I mean, I would understand if I was walking by, you know, every night, going by, wearing my glasses, staring at them, maybe licking my lips. <laughs> maybe I have a bone or two, I don't know. I didn't have any of these things tonight, and I still got a nice bag, faggot. That just really pissed me off. I didn't really have a punchline of that joke or anything, it's just it was on my mind, I wanted to share with you. Fuck friends. It's, one of the, it's another one of those things that like pisses me off uh, probably equally in high school. I don't know what it was about girls, but all of their body clocks seemed to be synced to that day when the one boring lecture, and they would have feminine problems, eight of them, at the same time. And they would get up and they would go to the bathroom. All of them, starting their period on that one day. And they would all do it to the guy teachers because they don't want to mess with that. You, you saw, like, you go to a guy, I'm having feminine issues right now. Fucking go, get out of here. I, don't, I do not want to, yeah, scares guys to shit. And I commend you ladies because if that happened to me once a month, Not only was there something terribly, terribly wrong with me, um, I, I would just probably run up and down the street screaming. screaming. So I don't know how you do it. Uh, 
you know, we make a big deal like, oh, I've got to put up your silly ass for four days, but you know, congratulations, ladies. I'm proud of you. Anywho, uh, that's all I got. Thank you very much.